found yourself feeling like you are throwing spaghetti against the wall when it comes to investing in your business? Are you questioning whether to invest your funds in hiring a new team member or in putting it in marketing or advertising dollars or trying to figure out a new platform to automate or on and on and on. And so many times entrepreneurs find themselves stuck in a cycle of trying to figure it out. And I'll tell you, I've heard this from both new and seasoned entrepreneurs, those who are at zero to those who are making multi six figures and above. And it's like, okay, where do I go from here? What is the best opportunity for me to maximize my dollars, my time, my talent, and my resources? And so today's episode is really dedicated to you and it's based on my personal experiences in this. And to be honest with you, I wish I would have had someone to tell me this a lot sooner. I could have went further faster. And that's why this episode is dedicated to you, your future growth, because how can we build generational wealth if we don't know where to invest our dollars like there's a time and there's a season for everything and a lot of times we get things confused on that season and we're investing in the wrong places in the at the wrong season and it affects our bottom line so let's get to the bottom line of it all and really understand how to master the fundamentals of investing in your business Get ready, this is a noteworthy episode. What's up, leader? Welcome to the Gifted Entrepreneur Show, the dopest podcast on the planet that explores the world of Christian entrepreneurship and reveals secrets to unlocking your unique codes to create generational wealth. I'm your host, LaDondra Hervey, wife, mom, award-winning author, and Christian business coach who's excited to take you on a transformational journey of taking bold steps to unlock your unique gifts and pursue your entrepreneurial dreams with unwavering faith. Buckle up. It's time to make your dreams of creating generational wealth a reality. Yo, 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 what's up, you guys? Super excited to be in the house for another Monday episode. How was your weekend? How, what did you get into? Like, I want to know. I want to know for real. This weekend, I had the unique opportunity to be able to go and visit family in my hometown. And um, we are... Um, getting ready. So when I say we are, we're getting ready actually to go and do that. And so I am looking forward to that um, at the time of this recording. And so I want to know what, what you did, what's going on for you? Where are you at in your life? I And do you like, are you at that place to where you're like, Oh, I need some vacation time or are you on all gas right now? Or are you in a good place of balance? Or are you feeling a little fatigued? What's going on? Like, you know, this is a good time to evaluate those kind of things and do your self-assessment. Because many times we find ourselves in that place to where we are, we're trying to get to the end. We what we have just a few months before it's the end of the year. And many times we find ourselves just going without any purpose or really even taking time to evaluate and assess our energy level, our mindset for this season that we're in and really recalibrate to adjust ourselves to be exactly where we need to be based on the goals and based on where we are just in our life, our health with our children and how it all relates to our business. 
And y'all, I didn't plan to say that, so that's a word for somebody. Somebody needed to hear that. So, let's get ready to get into the meat of things, because I have a lot to cover. You know, in this podcast, we focus on cracking the codes to creating generational wealth, using your God-given gifts, and we do that by focusing on all the things of breaking down those codes, tapping into your creativity, your operations, having that dominion mindset, learning how to take, uh, expi- uh, I forgot the E, we got expansion and creating that time expansion. And then the, the S is all about scaling. Today, we really are tapping into pretty much all the buckets. And we're going to be hidden in all the buckets by mastering the fun and by focusing on mastering the fundamentals of investing in your business for maximum return. Now, as I said in the introduction, y'all, I really, really wish someone would have told me this a lot sooner. The lessons that I'm teaching you are coming from the school of hard knock and things that as I have sat down and evaluated some of the decisions that I've made that I'm like, yeah, like. I could have invested those dollars a lot more wisely in other places. But to be honest, I I got caught up in a lot of the hype that the market sells us. And hey, you know, we you need to do this. And a lot of marketers are very they're 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 great at what they do. And they're supposed to be great at what they do. But given the fact that there's a lot of uh, Uh, amazing marketers out there and then there's a lot of just even just noise uh, period and so you're trying to figure out like when you're in this it's just a lot happening at the same time and so you're like okay do I need to be doing a funnel do I need to be focusing on my processes do I need to be focusing on hiring another person or so they can do my sales my administration where, where do I need to be and at what time? And so really, like in this episode, I'm going to be breaking it down, like I said, based on my experience. And so let me give you a disclosure. This is based on my experience in growing my business and then also helping my clients over the last nine years and really growing and scaling their companies. And as we have said time and time and again, we have helped clients to double and triple their income in less than 90 days by helping them really to understand how to invest wisely their time, their talent, and their treasure because we only get a certain amount of all of it. And we are called to be a great steward of the resources that God has given us. And I believe that many of us are doing the best that we know how to do. I know for sure myself, I was doing the best that I knew with the resources that I had been given. And now looking back, I'm like, you know, if I had a little bit more wisdom, then I would have shifted some of the investments that I made But instead of getting upset about it, now I get to use those lessons to really help my clients to accelerate into their next level. So what took me nine years in a 45 minute to not 45 minute to uh, 90 minute conversation with like, we got a whole plan mapped out of what you need to do, what order you need to do it, just scratch that. That's a waste of your time and your money. Y'all. I be having people who come in and they're investing payrolls into things like um, social media ads and Google ads and all of that stuff. And that's great, but in its season. And then sometimes there's when you're they're doing it, then there's not like back end processes to really help that to create a multiplication effect. And so there's some missing components. And so it's almost like you're dumping dollars into a slot machine and expecting there to be a high return because it's what you see that other people are doing and it's work for other people when in fact it's it may be working for them because they 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 are in the right season for it and they've mastered their messaging they have their back end and their front end processes set up to really take advantage 
of the benefits that that can offer. But if you don't, then you're doing things out of order. And when I, I really, when I was thinking about the title of this episode, I really had to just really put in, there's a lot of reallys coming out of my mouth right now, is the fundamentals, mastering the fundamentals. Because when my children were playing basketball and all the other sports that they played, we really honed in on what are the fundamentals. I remember when there is time where all of the Harlem Globetrotter stuff and all the other uh, crazy stuff that's on the internet, I can't even remember. And there was it was like this hype thing. And it was hype to do all these crazy tricks and strategies and all this stuff trying to be showboating they really were showboating um to try to look good but really at the when they get on the court with some people who have really mastered their the fundamentals a lot of time the ball gets stolen or again crossed up or you know just different things or they're just getting outworked because the uh, the component the opponent component the opponent they had mastered the fundamentals and that's something that we have to do in business if you found yourself feeling like you're throwing spaghetti against the wall you may really be throwing that spaghetti against the wall because you that you haven't mastered the fundamentals of learning how to invest in your business you're doing what you think you need to do or you're caught up in the fancy trends that the market is selling but it may not be appropriate for the time and the season that you are in business so like i said we're gonna break down the fundamentals and these are based on like i say my experience with the school of hard knocks and so don't be coming at me who all you other people who like well i don't believe that well great believe what you believe and i wish you so many blessings with what you believe but what i can tell you is that for those who are looking for something and and, and haven't figured out uh, a strategy that's working for that will really work for them what i'm telling you and what i'm about to teach you these are proven strategies proven strategies that have come from the trenches and that is so important i have to keep saying it because it's come from the trenches of me investing thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars in my business and really understanding like what needed to be and going through training after training after training and i like i have worked with some of the most well-known coaches that you see promoted online all the way to your local uh, coaching that you receive from you know down to like the sbdc and the sba and uh all the things all the things when i say all the things all the things because i'm that type of person where I'm really hungry for knowledge out from youtube university to all the things you guys and so because and i will tell you this a lot of times you think well okay youtube is free yeah but listen time is our most valuable resource so we think dollars is our most valuable resources dollars we can find but time we have been granted a certain amount of time and we don't even know what that time is and so we have to work each and every day as though it is our last day understanding that each day is a gift and so we have to be intentional with the time given so where are you going to focus your time then where are you going to focus your talent and your treasure okay and so really understanding that is one of the the key components when it comes to a mindset to mastering the fundamentals of investing in your business for maximum return and before i get into this because we we, we have a lot to cover i'm going to break down five areas that you need to focus on right now right now to grow your business okay and when i was thinking about this and you, this content i just was thinking about the the parable of the talents and i thought about you know that one of them they had five the other had two the other had one and god didn't tell them exactly where they needed to invest it was something that they had to think and be strategic about in order for them to really steward and make the right investments 
based on what they knew and by doing so the one the the two they doubled they invested in the right places and they doubled what God had given them and then God said well done good and faithful servant you've been faithful with little so then I can trust you with much and he doubled that and and on and on but the ones who didn't do anything kind of buried it and you know when we say buried you know that we can find ourselves burying things um when we just, we're in that place where we're stuck and we're at a plateau then we just don't know what to do and so let's shift that because we want to remember that we have the mind of christ right and having the mind of christ we get to ask for his wisdom and as we ask for wisdom he can strategically give us wisdom to to uh, to know where to invest and then we get to take also wisdom from those who have gone ahead of us and who have been in the trenches and who are doing business God's way and we get to take those notes and say okay who it, do we know that mastered the fundamentals and this grew massive successfully business most of the ones that like well I want to call them like the OGs in the game they in the in the business world like your Jim Rohns and your Zig Ziglar's and your your Les Browns and just all of those they mastered the basics they started with the basics they stayed true they stayed consistent and then they added things on as they continue to grow so y'all let's get into we've been already in it but I want to just go ahead and break these things down and so the I, I broke them all down to the five P's, the five P's that you need to focus on uh, right now to grow your business. And I'm going to just go ahead and throw them to you. The five P's is your people, your processes, promotion, product development, and your profit. Now, you do not need to focus on all of these. At uh, all, P, all the P's are not treated equal. Okay, so let's say that all the P's are not treated treated equal in fact there's some p's that carry more weight than others and so i'm going to break this down from a time standpoint and how many you from a 40-hour work week how much time do you need to be focused on each p and some p's don't even need to be focused on until you reach a certain level of income and then you can start adding on a different uh, adding on another level of that p there's some workarounds that you can do until you get to uh certain brackets and in certain uh, point of income okay and so let me go ahead i'm going to start with the heaviest p and that is your promotions so if you are if you're earning six figures less than six figures a year promotions need to be the biggest bucket that you focus and you invest your time your talent and treasure in fact you need to focus 80 percent of your time into the book the bucket of promotions i would even um i want to go even so far as to say you want to based on now you want to be smart with this and you want to talk this through with your financial planners because if you own like a brick and mortar or you have product costs or whatever you want to adjust your budget but i want you know it in your promotion needs to be one of your highest buckets that you are investing in because if you're not visible enough then it doesn't matter how great your product is it doesn't matter how great you are doesn't matter how how well you rise above the competition if no one knows who you are so you got to you want to be strategic and putting your dollars in the right bucket and that is in the promotions bucket that includes everything from your marketing to your sales processes your sales uh your sales development so if you need some development as far as becoming more effective as a salesperson being more effective in learning how to um be more strategic with marketing 
um, being this is you in with your advertising dollars, rather that is putting out uh, you know strategic promotions in your community, uh, or you sponsoring events, or you're you're speaking at events, whatever, and you need the material to be able to promote this, rather you're going. Uh, do, doing direct marketing, whatever that looks like, you want to be strategic about what how your promotions, and you want to do spend eighty percent of your time doing that. Now, if you need help with this, this is something that me and my team absolutely love doing because we not only do we understand the the strategic side of what it means to put together a growth plan that's going to amplify your impact from a sales and marketing standpoint we understand what you need to be doing before what you need to be before you even put any promotions out there what you need to be doing uh, to have your 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 core ready for a, a core campaign ready uh, to m promote your business and then also the back end process the back end of that core campaign and what needs to be happening so that you can effectively uh, take those leads from from cold to sold right and so you want to be very strategic about how you do that if you're one and you're like okay listen I'm sick of it book a call it's simple just book a call and we can talk about what that looks like for you so that's 80% of your time, okay? Now, I wanna go to the next one, which is where you focus your time. 10% of your time, I want you to focus that in on product development. Now, a lot of times people, they be like, okay, like you find people stuck behind the computer and they are just so just in it on, product development they're just like oh my gosh like it's got to be the perfect product it's got whether that's you're offering a sale or a physical uh, a service i'm sorry or a physical product it's like you're spending so much time developing it from a look standpoint online or you're developing the steps or you're developing you're just developing in creation mode and you're creating and you're creating and you're creating because you're like well i gotta keep up with the market and i gotta look better and i gotta do better and all the things well again remember if no one knows about your product then or your service then it matters not and so you're many times my people find themselves stuck right here doing just in creation mode because there's a lot of creators out there they're creating just creating or creating 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 and so you really want to be just you want to be strategic about that and i didn't say this so i'm gonna back up really quick so from a 40 hour work week and a promotion standpoint if you're spending um 80 of your time from in a promotion standpoint that means literally 32 hours of a 40 hour work week you're figuring out how to promote this is so important 32 hours that's email mark i don't care if it's email marketing if you're being very strategic about how you are on social media how you're showing up in your community how you are you're following up with any leads how you are speaking in the community whatever that looks like 32 hours 32 hours if you really want to be visible you really want to be out there this is things that i wish i would have known sooner like and you want and this is why it's so important to have a growth strategy plan because you can spend 32 hours doing the wrong things and you're still not in the right place but it gets you way further than if you were spending 32 hours in product development and so I just want I just wanted to put that out there so then now let's go back to product development and so this is you developing your online course or writing your book or whatever you got in your hand or your physical product with your calendars whatever it is that you have in your hand you want to spend only 10 percent of your time doing this especially if you're making six uh, less than six figures okay and the reason why is because as you are out promoting you will get the information that you need to develop the product that is right on target for your ideal client so you want to in product development with this 10 percent of time you want to put out what is your minimum viable product 
and you want to go ahead and start promoting that so you can test it and get that out in the market. And I recommend focusing in on one to two uh, core products. No more than that because when you're if you're at six figures six figures or less because you can start to um it, you can start kind of watering down your brand and you want to really strengthen your your brand and you want to really know where to focus in your time if you can get it down to one i recommend one and at the beginning i had so many things because i was told you need all these streams of income and you need to do all this stuff you know what if I would have mastered the one and did it so, so well, additional streams of income would have came after I created a, net, a level of sustainability. And, but I didn't know better, so I had I just followed everything. Like, I did everything. I'm just going to be honest with you. And so this is why you get to learn from the lessons that I had to get out there and learn from the school of hard knocks. And so product development create your MVP, get out there and then promote it. You get to understand what people really want. And then as the, the saying goes, then you can build the plane as you're flying it. So that means you get to start to uh, develop your MVP at a greater depth as people are going through your course. You can build your course as you're going. You can build your membership as you're going. You can write those chapters of your book as you're getting out there in the community and sharing what it is that you do, why you do it, doing surveys of where some pain points are with people and really just getting out there you guys you and, and just promoting 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 building relationships it is so important okay and so if you're spending 10 percent of your time in a 40 hour work week then that's going to put you at four hours a week so you have four hours a week on product development the next two buckets that i'm going to drop into is going to be where you're going to spend five percent of your time and these are this especially this one that i'm about to say people can get caught up here too so if they're not in creation mode and product development then they can get caught up in processes uh which processes oh i got a, my website my um my uh, automations, my funnels, the this, the that, and and the administration of the business, and answering e uh, emails that's not relevant, you know, and, and that it's like just a bunch of fluff type stuff. Now there are some emails that's relevant that's to your prospecting, but then we can find ourselves in these these uh, rabbit holes of just doing nothingness, responding to a bunch of nothingness that just really is not important for the time and the season that you're in. So you have literally from admin, you need to be focusing in 5% of your time per week. And so if you're focusing 5% of your time per week, that's two hours a week. So you can break that down to 15 minutes a day. You can break it down to 20 minutes a day. You can break that down however you want. You can chunk it to, I have admin days um, that I do. Those are Tuesday, Thursdays, and this is where I follow up with everybody that's not, you know, from a sales, that doesn't go into the my uh, promotions uh, bucket, then I'll follow up, whatever that looks like for you but just know that when you're looking at your calendar strategically put that out and say okay here are the admin tasks and where i need to be focusing so i'm not taking away from the core of what i need to be doing because ultimately you have to you need to get visible so that you can start to create a true profit in your business which brings me down to um the fourth p which is profit and you need to be focused on profit like, okay, so let me, let me, this is going to, uh, so hear me out when I say this. Profit producing activity needs to be something that your mind is on 100% of the time. Now, the, the uh, administration of the, the finances department, <laughs> that only needs to be 5% of the time. So this is you going in and reviewing every day so you first of all when you're doing anything you need to create a profit plan you need to know your profit plan from and, and do it from a quarterly you can do it from a quarterly standpoint 
back your year down into quarters. And so each and every, then if you have it mapped out from quarter uh, and a quarterly breakdown, then you should be able to back that down into a weekly and daily in your daily uh, things that you need to be focusing in on from a promotion standpoint so that you can reach your profit goals. Now, with this 5% of the time, what you're doing is you're starting, you're, you're going every day and you're measuring, you know, in that five week, um, in that five day work week, you're going and you're checking in with yourself and, and say, measuring yourself 5% of the time at the end of the day, or, you know, look at the beginning of the day. Okay. Here's where I need to be for my sales goals standpoint. And then checking in at the end of the day, where did you land? And then just create, just note, notating, okay, so here's what I need to do to be on track for tomorrow. Um, and what I would recommend is if there was any yuckiness that came up, is when I say yuckiness, any bad feelings or vibes that came up, there's a little bit of journaling around that. You can include that. I would recommend doing that journaling in your prayer time. Um, you know, we, we have uh, intentional mornings with God and um, CEO collaboration that's something that you can go in and uh, you can purchase on our website and it really helps you to break down and be strategic with your prayer time um, and you know it, it's a wonderful way for you to get some journaling in and sit with the Lord so that you can just kind of start to master your mindset around your profit goals and um, and so you can move forward and then 5% of the time, it also includes like checking in with your QuickBooks if there's anything that you need to do to download, like whatever whatever your payment software is. Right now, I use QuickBooks at the time of this recording. It may change later on, but um, if you have QuickBooks, Wave, whatever that is, zero, go in and just um, make sure, okay, from the sales that came in today, like, you know, here's, you know, uh, let me go ahead and categorize those. And then you can also just do run your numbers. You can run a report and see how was the day. And like that doesn't take that long if you're on top of it. Or you can do what I prefer to do is do it you know, that 5% of the time. I just, uh, I'll look at my, I'll do a check in on my numbers. But then what I do as far as the QuickBooks, I'll just create like I'll, then if I'm dealing with two hours of finance time, then there's an hour a week where I'm like, okay, this is QuickBooks time and I'll just categorize it. Because if you're doing it for an hour a week, like it just doesn't take that long because you're on top of it, right? And you can run a report and say, okay, here's where I'm at. We're good. Moving forward. Okay. Um, and then, so the last one that I have is your people so we've talked about your process your promotions we've talked about product development we've talked about pro uh, processes profit and now people why did i wait to peep for people at the end i left that at the end because if you are under six figures i strongly recommend not trying to bring in a nobody that's like a full-time um, employee or anything uh, right away unless you are you you need someone like you, you you you're at a place to where there's you need some additional help in making like you have a physical product and you need some additional help making the product something like that but if you're like in your service base there's a lot that you can do on your own and even if you're product based there's a lot that you can do on your own to be able to uh, automate so you can put that time in your processes so you can start to automate you can use automations that'll help to serve as a team member and so you can do automations like um, having already pre the pre uh done email responses that to frequently ask questions that people come to you about or um, creating templates for your social media where it's you know you, you kind of have a template for things how people uh, same thing questions that uh, frequently asked questions that's the word I've been looking for that's why I'm stumbling over my words frequently asked questions that people 
normally come to you for and then you know you can just have that in your notes in your phone and then you can as a template and on your computer and you just easily just respond to that you can have auto automatic like if when people purchase things where it just automatically respond thank you for buying here's your next steps and that's where onboarding having automating your onboarding processes can come into place uh automating your offboarding when people uh, leave and you know whatever if you have a referral system after whatever that looks like there's so many ways this can look like and so that's you automating your your administrative tasks you can do things like uh, automating with AI where you literally have AI acting as a team member for you those are some things we're going to be offering our clients in the future so if that's something you're interested in you just go ahead and send me a message and like you know say i'm interested i want to be on the list to be first to know about those type of things and so you can automate with those type of things and it literally serves as like your virtual assistant and so there's so many things that you can do if you're under 100k and but then after you reach 100k and over then it's safe to start to switch some of the buckets and here are a couple buckets that you can switch and now you can put 30 percent of your time into people now because now you have mastered the art of at that point you've mastered the art of promotions and now you need someone else you can start to hire somebody to either create more duplication in your company uh, so that you can go further faster or you can hire some people to if you you know the administrative and customer service type stuff is getting crazy now you can hire somebody to handle more of that um, or whatever the case is and then in the people uh, process then this is also includes you in your your training as well because now now you have scaled your company well you've grown it you haven't scaled yet but you grew your company enough to where there should be some bandwidth to where you can hire someone on and now you can spend some time in training and developing your people and then um, also having the things that they need so that you can make sure they're on track for them to 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 grow and now you're flipping from being in the trenches into a leadership role and i'll tell y'all this was one of the biggest mistakes that i made is that uh, hiring too fast and it took my time away from really focusing in where i needed to be focusing in and then i so i started training people and spending a lot of time on training and that training started and this is weekly meeting so this is weekly meeting me we're meeting with people weekly uh developing them um in those meetings and those meetings could take time like hours upon hours and you know embedding them in the culture um training on best practices mindsets all the things and that was time that i really needed to be working in uh, my business on the promotion side of things instead of trying to develop someone and so I know it seems like hey like you know, it like I'll be saving so much time nah, you you be if you go ahead and start to master the art of being great at your company and the fundamentals of that now you can do like Jesus did and create some duplicate duplication and now your disciples those you're training on your team they can learn the ways of the culture and now you can train them up and then they can train others up and then now you're starting to create more a multiplication effect in your business and now you can kind of you can start to create more bandwidth there so the um and so now when you if you're doing it 30 percent of the time um, then that you can start to pull back on some of your promotions instead of doing that 80% of the time if you're over six figures then now you're doing promotions 50% of the time so now you're taking on a leadership role but then also still staying in that sweet spot for promotions and still being the uh, important asset that you need to be in pushing your brand forward making sure your brand is still forward and you're putting enough time in the brand promotions so that you can create dominion right you know i heard a saying and i love it god didn't tell he didn't say that uh call us to to compete he called us to dominate 
And so how do you need, how do you, this keeps you in a sweet spot to where now you can start to scale and create that dominion effect in your brand and you can start to strengthen those roots um, and, you know, by being strategic in your promotions and being strategic with your people. And then your people can start to work all those other things out with your processes and all of that. And sometimes when you're, it depends on where, how, how you're scaling. And this is when you get over a hundred K, we're not talking about this. You may have to switch, uh, increase your budget of product development. So you can start to add more, uh, assets in to the company to where there's some ascension where people have other levels that they can go into and in working with you at a, a deeper or uh, or higher level um, and so you may need to spend some time in the product development but that's for a season and so you develop that product and then you can come back in and then get back heavy on the your uh, promotion and your people so Y'all, I've covered a lot. I pray that this has been a blessing to you. Because had I known what I just explained to you, it would have saved me, my family, and my team so much more time and so much more just just uh, headache, heartache, and all the things and my, I would have had more wholeness in my life, more balance in my life, because I would have been, been doing the right things in the right order that was really moving the needle in my business in a way to where it would pull me out the trenches faster and I could scale a lot faster and I wouldn't feel like I was throwing spaghetti against a wall. And I know that I'm not the only one who felt who has felt that way, because because many of you are feeling that way right now. Even if you're at that million dollar mark or that multi six figure mark, you're still feeling stretched because all dollars are going right back out the door because you're putting the right the, the uh, dollars in the wrong buckets. And so if you need someone to come alongside of you as a growth partner, there's a difference is you got, you're in a mastermind and you just got people like, you know, just a bunch of people in a group. If you're at a certain level, um, you're at that multi six figure and seven figure mark, you need a growth partner to come alongside of you and to help you to, to create some structure, the infrastructure that you need to grow and scale uh, your with your systems, your people, your processes, your promotions, and really your your uh, profit, and just really get in a place from a product development standpoint. All of that doesn't mean that you don't know what you're doing. It just means that you're taking it, what you're doing to the next level. And many times, if you're in that, you're less than you're uh, making less than six figures. What I found is that you get stuck into the the uh, product development uh, side of things and it's like in product development you're so focused on being the talent and that you miss the opportunity to level up and be the business owner that is so visible and so pr prominent in your community that you become that ideal choice where people are like oh my gosh like where has that person been and how can I work with them? But we get so caught up on being the talent and being and developing this amazing product that we miss the opportunity to just get out in the community, be visible, serve, how you have human, real human com connections. You know, I've heard it been said, and this is why it's so empower so powerful for us to be be in that sweet spot for our promotions and being visible. Because we hear, there's a, the, like I say to someone, this is true to someone else, but I heard it said where most of us are so focused on making sales while we sleep, but you can't make sales while you're sleeping until you can make sales while you're awake. Ain't that powerful? And so making sales while you're awake is being very intentional on your promotional strategy and understanding how to put 
um, those those make your marketing dollars, your sales dollars work for you, being strategic, doing the right things, being visible in the right places, in the right order, and having those front end, those back end systems to support your core offer so that you can really accelerate your growth and go again further faster and you can do it in right partnerships with the right people and that's all part of promotions and so you really got to work out that system and the cool part about a system is it's something that's consistent and if you really want to build a strong brand it is all about be having a consistent experience and having the right systems that can support that that consistency so that you can take yourself out of stress and overwhelm and you can go and you can uh, operate your kingdom enterprise from a place of peace and purpose. And when I tell y'all again, these are things that I wish I know. I've hired coaches from around the world and the high level, high achieving coaches. And no one has broke it down from this standpoint. I had to really sit with it and just think what was going wrong? What happened? Why? And I had to do it from a place of non-condemnation so that I can come back and bring something good to you guys so that you can really take it. You can eat of, you can eat, if your life, you can eat of the fruit of, of uh, the things that I had to endure. And if your life is not set up in a way to where you are, your, your roots are developing and you're coming up with things to where you can, you can take your suffering and from your suffering, there becomes good fruit that other people can eat of there so that they don't have to suffer. Yeah, maybe I did have to suffer for my roots to grow down deep into the ground and penetrate the earth at the level that they have penetrated. But when I tell you those roots are deep, they are deep, deep, deep. And this is a word for someone. They're deep, they're far, they're wide. And the tree is just, is is vastly grown. And the, the fruit that the people get to eat of, they're not spoiled fruit. They're ripe and ready for the eating. That's why these are things that you can take and eat of right now. If you just take the wisdom, you slow down and you hear what I'm saying. And you make it make sense for your business and you don't know what that means. This is where you get to invest in your business and hiring a growth partner that can help you get on track with your promotions so that you can get, enter into that next level or help you to get on track with your people or wherever you are because I said a lot I said a lot but the sweet spot is if you can get on track with with them with the, your promotions your processes your people and understand the pro, the product development and uh, profit then it all start to work itself out. You just got to know where, what's the system, what system is at work. And so if you've been in that place and you're like, you know what, like, you know, we can have really ugly conversations with ourselves. I suck. I've seen people pass me. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I like, I've heard it all. Stop it. Stop condemning yourself and rise up to another level of conviction so that now you are starting to operate from purpose. When you're operating from purpose, your convictions will drive your intentions. Your intentions will set you on track to creating the goals and actions that you need to. And then you start to rise from a negative energy to a elevated, in abundant energy like God wants us to operate from. And now you start to move from being broken and disconnected from the vine and you're moving closer and back to being connected to the vine which is jesus christ he is the source who makes all things possible now we're working from abundance where all things in partnership with him they become a reality and so now because we're in alignment with our true purpose we're in alignment with the source of the one who has created us for that purpose and now we're starting to create good fruit that our people can eat of and they can actually see our tree they can see our tree amongst all the other trees in the forest they can see our tree and they can see the value of our tree and they can come and they can glean or eat of the gifts that we have available to them and so if you're at that place stop being upset with yourself reset recal recalibrate realign and know that there is a way through then here's a way here's a way you're focusing on in those time frames of what I say, your people, your processes, your promotions, your product development, 
and your profit. Y'all, don't forget, if you need to set that time up, set that time. If you're less than six figures, if you're over six figures, you want to book a strategy call. If you're less than six figures and you're local to the D the DFW area, I want to invite you to join us for our Growth Alliance Center. We are getting ready to kickstart our cohort of entrepreneurs. Thirty, There will be 30, but there you will be dro broken down into strategic co cohorts where you guys will be able to elevate, get to know one another's businesses and strategically go out and um, help one another uh, in, from a marketing sales with ideas that get you out of your jaded community of entrepreneurs that you may have been in or get you out of that place to where maybe those ones you've been hanging with and you, you're like, well, I feel like I'm the smartest one in the room. I'm really not going anywhere. Well, these entrepreneurs, these are kingdom entrepreneurs that are invested in growing others. And you will also be connected to our leadership team who are who will fill in your gaps. So the gaps that you may be feeling like, well, I'm not that strong in sales. I'm not that strong in marketing. I'm not that strong in people and processes. We have you covered with a cohort of coaches, not a cohort, um, an expert team of coaches that will have partnered with us. Some are on our team, some have partnered with us that will fill in your gaps. It's gone are the days of trying to do it by yourself. You need help. We all need help. We were all designed for help. God said it's not good to be alone. That goes not only from a marriage standpoint, but that is for us as a as a people, as a community, we need community to grow. And that's exactly what the Growth Alliance Center is de dedicated to doing, is creating growth and opportunity through reciprocity. And that reciprocity is us as a people coming together and growing one another and being strategic with measurable growth and accountability. And so that we're going to we're going to do exactly that. So I don't care if you're you're in Plano or you're in um, Fort Worth or wherever it is worth your time to become a member in the Growth Alliance Center because you will go further faster. And if you're a founding member in this first cohort, we have just did overdone it with just the bonuses that you get from it. And when I tell you this, the package of this is well over $20,000 and um, it is. And this is a year working with us. It's well over it. You will not pay a fraction of that because one, we want to make it easy for you to say yes to yourself because sometimes we've gone through so many things in our life and we've made all uh, we've made a lot of investments that just wasn't just wasn't a fit and may have kind of put us in a place to where we we are second guessing ourselves I don't want you to second guess yourself I want to boost your confidence and in investing in yourself and making your right decision to help to scale, grow and scale your business to really crack those codes and create that generational wealth and do it God's way, upholding the integrity of the vision that he's put on the inside of you, okay? And if you're not local, then go ahead and just schedule a call and we can talk about what what we may be able to do for you um, from a virtual standpoint and if you, you know, or recommend some of the resources that we have available or recommend and resources that may mean some of our products that we have virtually. It may mean uh, where you're, we have an amazing network of people that we trust, we know, like, and trust that we can refer you to. It, it could be a variety of things. And so if you're not local, book the call and we can, let's, let's talk about what could, what this could, look, your next level could look like. We are here to serve. All right, you guys. I love you. I hope you have an amazing week and I will chat at you later. Did that episode feel juicy or what? If so, please do me a favor and take 30 seconds to write a review. Your review helps us to spread the mission of creating generational wealth around the world. And if you tag me on IG stories, I'll be sure to reshare the love. 
And don't forget to join our Kingdom Collaborators Network, where we're coming together to intentionally collaborate to grow our business. Until next time, remember, for with Christ, nothing is impossible.